Hello everyone, back to you into today's second video. We're going to do a weekend forecast for today's second video. So, as always, on a Saturday, we've got your detailed week ahead look ahead. And uh, we're going to go through the charts day by day and see what's on the way in the weekend. It's going to be another unsettled-ish week, but it's not going to be anywhere near as wet as it has been in recent weeks. So there will be... Uh, quite a lot of dry weather around, actually, um, in the weekend. Although the broad pattern is still quite unsettled. By next weekend, we might go uh, quite unsettled again. Uh, so, more about weekend forecasts in a moment, though. Uh, before we get on that, just to say that the first video released today was the um, second and final season one around of the spring of 2020. That's getting 13 long-range models together to see what they're all showing uh, for the spring. And that video will be placed on the spring updates page this evening, and there'll be a written summary that goes with that as well. I've uh, got the uh, week to 10-day video update with regular features coming up this afternoon. I mean, tonight we'll have Terry Scholes. Uh, spring forecast tomorrow, busy old day tomorrow at Gazweb is including starting off with the Gazweb is spring 2020 uh, forecast so um, loads to keep checking uh, back to uh, with website and the channel over the uh, over the weekend Right, so we'll start with a picture from Gazza. This, by the way, website's using full weekend forecasts are coming from uh, theweatherapp.com and wetsec.d, but start with a rain picture from Gazza. So uh, it was a very wet morning across the east parts of the country this morning with heavy rain. Most of it is now just clearing away into the North Sea, and we're having a rather, uh, a, a, a rather quieter interlude, a little bit of a lull. Is taking place. The wind gusts of east down a little bit and showers are mostly in the north and the west. However, you see this next batch of more persistent uh, rain coming in across Ireland at the moment. That's a trough that's going to push eastwards, particularly across central and northern parts of the country uh, this afternoon and into the evening. It's weird bit that we've got some very, we're going to have some very ferocious winds as well, courtesy of uh, the whole storm. Jorge, uh, or oh, hey. um, so uh, yes, he's going to push these ones across the country through the course of this afternoon and into this evening, and there could be some snow in with that as well, the cold air will be digging in with that uh, system as well, so there could well be some snow across high ground up in the north. So here's today's stock tip pressure chart. You can see that it's a very unsettled chart again. Another weekend, another storm. This is the fourth one in succession, I think, for uh, for the weekend. Uh, so the weather does get into these repeating patterns sometimes. So um, not all that unusual. But uh, tap four on the trot, I suppose, is uh, is quite unusual. But uh, central pressure with this looks like it's somewhere close to around 97, 970 millibars there, just to west. Scotland and some very strong winds coming in with that low pressure too. So free rest of this afternoon we'll have further showers across the country. There will be sunny spells mixed in as well and then we'll have that more general area of rain, sleet and snow with the strongest of the winds sweeping across central and northern areas during the latter part of the afternoon and into the evening. And that will be when the strongest of winds hit those western coast layers particularly around those Irish sea coasts. I think we'll see gusts of wind going up to 60, 70 miles an hour. Again, definitely enough to cause more damage and disruption to those Irish Sea coast areas. It'll be a windy afternoon everywhere, but particularly so uh, around those Irish Sea coasts. Once the rain clears that far southeast corner, actually many parts of uh, southern England will be mainly dry. Just one or two blustery showers getting blown through on those increasing westerly winds. Quite cold today as well. Temperatures ranging from around uh, 4 to 8 degrees Celsius. It will feel colder than that, though, as the wind picks up. Overnight tonight, we're going to take that area of low pressure... <coughs> excuse me, we're going to take that area of low pressure up to the north of Scotland, so it'll stay windy on the southern side of that low pressure. Further gales coming through Northern Ireland into Northern England, particularly around those Irish sea coasts. And we'll have more persistent areas of rain, sleet and snow through Scotland uh, and Northern England as well. Snow could be significant with accumulations over high ground in the north, and we could well see some snow coming down to low level, particularly across parts of Scotland, but maybe a little bit for Northern England as well. Northern Ireland has wintry showers, and then the rest of England and Wales, probably a reasonable amount of dry weather. But again, one or two showers will get blown through on those blustery westerly winds. Temperatures tonight will range from around freezing, if you get a bit of shelter from that wind, to around plus four or plus five 
degrees Celsius. It will be quite a cold feeling night. And again, there is a risk of gale force gusts around those Irish sea coasts in particular tonight. Tomorrow, you notice wind gusts are lessening off a little bit. The ice bars are opening out ever so slightly. Still an unsettled day, though with low pressure in control. There's a little feature down just to the southeast that might bring some outbreaks of rain into the far southeastern corner through the course of Sunday. And then across northern England and Scotland, we'll start off anyway with rain, sleet and snow. That will become increasingly confined to Scotland. Again, there could be significant accumulations of snow, particularly over high ground. But elsewhere... Uh, winter showers around western coastal areas, but actually a reasonable amount of dry weather through central and eastern areas for the first day of meteorological spring. There will be some sunny spells. Late on in the day, this little feature just here will bring some cloud and outbreaks of rain into the far southwest of the country. Temperatures tomorrow, again, quite a chilly day, a uh, range of around 4 to 8 degrees Celsius, a bit below average for the beginning of March. Now, overnight, Sunday into Monday, we're going to see this little feature pushing across the south. It's difficult to say how far north this is coming, but it could bring some rain, sleet and snow into southern and southeastern parts of the country uh, for the start of Monday. I think snow will be mainly over high ground, mainly at elevation, maybe a few flakes coming down to low levels. So that could be quite heavy as well. Uh, the precipitation does look quite heavy there. Uh, so uh, elevation, maybe a little bit of a dusting of uh, snow on Monday morning, but it's more likely to be heavy rain at uh, lower levels. A widespread frost though further north with wintry showers. And then through the course of Monday itself, that low pressure will clear away, or that little feature clear away to the east. And then we're left with the main low city to the north of Scotland, bringing in those showery westerly winds. So once we get rid of any rain, sleet and snow in the south and southeast corner on Monday morning, it'll be a case of sunny spells and wintry showers. Wintry showers mostly in the north and west, many central, eastern and southern areas, mostly dry with uh, decent spells of sunshine. Uh, and light winds as well on Monday, so the showers shouldn't get penetrating uh, as far inland as previous days, perhaps. Um, and probably a little bit more scattered anyway in northern western parts of the country. So just easing off the gas a little bit in terms of the unsettled weather on uh, Monday, even though the broad pattern is still unsettled. Temperatures ranging again from around 4 to 8 degrees Celsius. Could be widespread frost on Monday night. That's Tuesday, so low pressure is still in control on Tuesday overall. But you notice the ice bars are opening out. The areas of low pressure are sort of becoming flabby and slow. And this tells that we're just easing off the unsettled weather to some degree. So Tuesday, I think most of the showers will be confined to coastal areas in the north and west. Could should be a lot of dry weather around on Tuesday with plenty of sunny spells. Been on the cold side, temperatures ranging from around 4 to 9 degrees Celsius. And I would suspect there will be a relatively widespread frost early and late on Tuesday as well. This little system just flirting with the far southwest on Wednesday, so that might bring some cloud and showery outbreaks of rain into the southwestern corner. But again, Wednesday should be a mostly dry day for many of us with plenty of sunshine. Again, wintry showers are likely around those northern western coastal areas, but most places are looking at, uh, at a reasonably dry day with sunny spells. A bit on the cold side again, frost early and late, um, but in the early March sunshine, we probably see temperatures reaching 10 degrees. Degrees Celsius somewhere uh, down in the south. That's 50 Fahrenheit. Now, there's a bit of a question mark about Thursday with this area of low pressure just here across France. At the moment, all of the model guides or most model guides is taking this low pressure into France. There will be a lot of heavy rain associated with that. We need to keep a close eye on it because obviously if it was to trend northwards, then it would bring the threat of heavy rain into parts of England and Wales, and especially into the south and maybe on the northern edge some sleet and snow. But at the moment, the latest uh, guidance is taking this low pressure into France. So we'll go with that idea, uh, albeit with the caveat that the south could be wet on Thursday. But we'll go with the idea that the low pressure is moving into France on Thursday. And so that should leave most parts of the country, again, looking mostly dry with sunny spells. And again, we've just got wintry showers flirting with northern and western coastal areas. I expect a frost early and late. A bit chilly by day, but in the March sunshine, probably seeing temperatures again struggling up to around 10 Celsius, which is 50 Fahrenheit.
Moving back towards more unsettled conditions for Friday as low pressure starts to come in from the Atlantic again. So although Friday might start off mostly dry, perhaps with a widespread frost cloud and outbreaks of rain spill in from the Atlantic and some of that rain could be quite heavy, particularly in the north and west. It may turn to sleet and snow for a time over high ground up in the north. However, it will be a milder day on Friday, so despite the rain, at least it will be mild, with temperatures or milder, with temperatures around 6 to 12 degrees Celsius. Then into next weekend, looks quite unsettled again. This is Saturday. Could this be another named storm for next weekend? It's too early to say, but certainly it looks like Saturday could have a further bout of very wet and windy weather across the country. Probably quite mild, though, in the south. But by the time we get through to Sunday, that low pressure clears into Norway and we begin to pull down a colder and more showery northwesterly wind. And then obviously we'll extend out beyond weekend broadcast time frame in today's second video update or third video update, which will be coming up later on this afternoon. So finally, just have a look at the charts weather outlook. So we've got wintry showers in the north and the west through the course of this afternoon. Uh, and winds really will be powering up as well, especially around those Irish Sea coasts with 60 to 70 mile an hour gusts, bringing the risk of damage and disruption, uh, courtesy of the storm Jorge. And then we move through into Sunday. And uh, again, showers, particularly in northern western parts, going to be the driest weather, will be in the south and the southeast. Although there could be a spell of rain in this far southeast corner through the course of the day. Monday potentially starts off a bit on the wet side across southern areas. Maybe some rain sink. So that clears away. Wintry showers in northwestern areas, not a dry weather in the south and the east. And then through Tuesday, uh, Wednesday, and indeed Thursday, the emphasis really is shifting towards drier weather with more in way and sunny spells. Although we do have to watch out for some outbreaks of rain in the south through this middle part of the week, something we're not certain about. I think most of the wet weather with that low will be down across France on Thursday, but we do have to keep an eye on it. And then into Friday, probably just turning more generally wet and windy uh, from off the Atlantic. And that could then set us up for another very, very unsettled weekend next weekend. So in summary, where we're starting a very unsettled, uh, more heavy rain, wintry showers, snow, and severe gale force winds, courtesy of Storm Jorge, we're going to see all of this easing away through by, uh, free weekend by the early part of next week. We are still unsettled, but uh, less so than we have been. And that's really is the way things trend through the course of next week. An unsettled flavour to weather overall. There will be showers around. There will be periods of rain. Showers likely to be wintry, particularly in the north and over high ground too. But that said, the emphasis through much of this coming week will be moving towards drier weather and more in way of sunshine. Probably turns very unsettled again, though, by next weekend, with perhaps a risk of more gales and heavy rain next Saturday. We'll see about that. Right, that's it for Weekend Forecast, and we'll be back later on with your week's 10-day video update, including all of the regular features. We've got Terry Scully's, uh, uh Spring Forecast coming up tonight. Tomorrow, the Gazweather is Spring Forecast will be the first video up. Have Gazweather this Sunday Roundup, and loads of other updates as well tomorrow, so keep checking back to all of it. That's all for now, though, and thanks for watching.